No one is raising venture money out there right now. But Overtime League, they just raised $100 million. Because All right, Yetis, full disclosure, this is Nick, this is Jack, and we're both 5'10 inches-ish. We told our coaches, though, we're 5'11". And then we got listed on our sports rosters as six foot. Yeah, we wouldn't have been recruited to play in the overtime league. Pretty sure I told Molly on our first date at Shake Shack I was six one and a half. Did she have eyes to verify that We were that was seated. It was in a public garden. Yetis, six years ago, an Instagram handle was born. It was called... Overtime Sports. Overtime Sports started on Instagram. They would post highlight videos of high school basketball stars. You could follow on Instagram and watch like the future LeBron dunk on some nine-year-old. <laughs> yeah, well, they ended up creating an entirely new thing out of that Instagram account. They went from social media account to professional basketball league. Here's the key. It's a professional high school basketball league. Yes, Overtime told kids to ditch the traditional path to basketball start. Like skip the middle school dance. Put that bar mitzvah on hold. Overtime thought that it was silly. That high school kids, the top prospects, they go to Duke or Kentucky for one year. They have no time to study academics. Oh, no time. They don't get paid. No, they don't. And it's all just a one-year layover before they get to the NBA. So instead, Overtime said, here's the deal. Come to Atlanta, come to us, attend Overtime Academy, play professional basketball, and how much are they going to get paid, Jack? $100,000 a year. $100,000 for a 16-year-old to play basketball. And you're going to build a huge social media following that you can monetize for the rest of your life. Now, Yetis, here's what Jack and I find fascinating about this story. What Overtime did is build the audience before it built the product. Right. Social media accounts first, league second. Well, now, Overtime is treating sports like a high school arts and crafts project. This is really exciting. It They're is. getting creative because Overtime Elite is the flagship product. It's basketball. Yeah. It's three teams, nine players per team, 16 to 18 year old. They play against each other, those three teams, and they play exhibition games against like the Harlem Globetrotters and international team. But they didn't stop there. What's their newest sport, Jack? Seven on seven football. And not just any football. They're doing flag football like you used to play on the <laughs> playground with your buddy, Timmy. No tackling. No. No helmets. No bulky pads. Uh -huh. And no offense. No offense. No linemen. No linemen included. So every play is a high amplitude, like wicked fast, deep pass. Insanely fast. You can't keep up. Speed kills. Highlights, highlights, highlights. And the CEO of Overtime just hinted that next they're doing boxing, so they just made some big news. To finance growth, they just raised $100 million from the venture capital industry, and they're now worth half a billion dollars. And the investors are pro-league. We're talking Jeff Bezos, Drake, Morgan Stanley. The bank. Not the D3 athlete. But here's the wildest part. Get this. 6% of all active NBA players have invested in this high school professional basketball startup. That's what Overtime said. We found that shocking to Shocking. Believe. Kevin Durant is an investor. 6% of the NBA invested in this startup. So, Jack, what's the takeaway for our buddies over at Overtime? The sports industry depends on the TV industry. Yes. But Overtime broke that rule. Yetis, we always mention on this pod that the NFL is the most marketable sport in the United States. Why? TV deals. TV deals. Tech and media companies will pay billions per year to broadcast Sunday and Thursday and Monday night NFL games. Jack, how many cable TV deals does overtime high school sports have? Zero. Zero. It's got none. And they're fine with that. Yetis, your uncle probably has no idea how to watch an overtime elite basketball game. Yeah. And overtime is fine with that. Yeah, because overtime's audience is all under 24. A demographic... It really just doesn't have cable TV anyway. What is cable? These are cable nevers, cord nevers. So Overtime produces 50 shows and they're all on YouTube or TikTok or Instagram. That's it. So far, Overtime monetizes through ads, merchandise, and ticket sales. Sports leagues need TV deals. Overtime has proven they don't. Thanks for jumping in T-Boy style. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more pop biz that you need.